Britannic. She was laid down as the RMS Hellenic in 1873 and was launched under the name Britannic in 1874. She had her maiden voyage on the 25th of June, 1874. In 1876, while she was being repaired in Belfast, a fire broke out in one of her forward holds, though it was doused shortly after. With a new propeller system, she got the Blue Ribbon in 1876 westbound, and then one month later, in December of 1876, she got the eastbound ribbon, becoming the first and only White Star Liner ever to hold both records at the same time. In 1877, she lost the eastbound record to her sister Germanic, which we'll cover in a minute, and in 1879, she lost the westbound record to the RMS Arizona. In 1881, she ran down and sank the SS Willie, though thankfully all the crew were saved. Later that year, on the 4th of July, she ran aground off of Ireland and wrecked. Everybody survived, and she was refloated and repaired, starting the 8th of July. On the 9th of July, she was started to be towed back via tugs, when she started sinking again and was quickly beached. She was once again pumped and brought to Liverpool on the 14th of July, and was put back into service, fully repaired on the 18th of July. Famous author Bram Stoker, known for writing Dracula, is believed to have sailed on Britannic in 1883. On the 13th of January, 1887, she collided with the SS St. Philans. On the 19th of May, 1887, an older white star liner collided with the, with the Britannic the Celtic, which T-boned Britannic. Celtic, trying to maneuver out of Britannic's hall, ended up rebounding towards Britannic and colliding with her two more times, before finally sliding past her. Britannic nearly wrecked from this, and passengers were about to be evacuated when Captain Perry slightly reassured them, saying that they would be fine and he would, in fact, be correct. Britannic and Celtic, under the assistance of the SS Marengo and the SS British Queen, limped back to New York, barely surviving. An interesting fact about this is that during the collision, a two-and-a-half-year-old girl called Eleanor was on board, and in a panic, got, one, got into one of Britannic's boats, and she and her family were transferred to the Celtic. Now, what's so special about this? Her name was Eleanor Roosevelt, and she would later become the future First Lady of the United States, married to future President Roosevelt. As a result of this, Eleanor had a distinct fear for watercraft ever since then. Court ruled that both captains were to blame for the collision. In 1890... Britannic rammed and sank a brig called the Charowitz. In 1891, now 17-year-old Britannic claimed her fastest crossing on record, 6 days, 7 hours, and 52 minutes. In 1899, she was called into service for wartime as a troop ship for the South African War, or the Second Boer War. She was renamed to the HMT Britannic as opposed to the former RMS Britannic. In 1900, Britannic sailed to Australia to represent the United Kingdom at the inauguration of the Australian Commonwealth. On her return trip, she ran aground in the Suez Canal and was refloated shortly after. In 1902, she was returned to the White Star Line under the abbreviation RMS again, and was thought that it could be reused and modernized like her sister Germanic was, but Harland and Wolfe concluded that it wouldn't be cost-effective, so as a result, she was sold for scrap in 1903. While Britannic was about to be scrapped, a photograph was, taking, was taken of it and a future white starliner called the Cedric, which shows you the size difference from ships from 1874 versus 29 years later in 1903.